This segment is an introduction video to Cherokee Crafts and designed to offer the basic steps in craft making. The following video is presented as a service to various communities, schools, and organizations in hopes of perpetuating Cherokee culture. OCO, my name is Shanista and I'm going to teach you a little bit about Cherokee pottery. Ancient Cherokees lived in villages. We often built our villages near a good source of running water, such as rivers or streams. We built our villages near water so that we could have a clean source of water. That water also provided us a source for clay. We found clay near that source of running water by digging down the top layer of topsoil or by finding it under the running water. We would dig up those pockets of clay and we would bring them back to our homes where we would let that clay dry out. Once it was completely dry, we could pound it down and grind it into a smooth powder. Then we could clean out all of the impurities such as rocks, twigs, leaves, bugs, things like that. Once that clay was cleaned out, you could add water back to it and make it nice and soft and pliable to form into things that we needed, like these pieces of pottery on the table. We also made pottery to cook in and to hold food. Pieces like you see on the table here were made using a coil method, which would be rolling out long, thin coils of clay and wrapping them around and around and forming the walls of the pottery. We had another method called the pinch pot method, which would be used to make smaller vessels like this that we would use to eat or drink from. Pieces of clay would be formed using the hands, pinching the clay around to form a bowl shape. After we had formed the clay into the shape we wanted, we would use a wooden paddle with a carved design, similar to what you see here. The clay would then be stamped with this paddle to form a texture around the pot. That texture was used to grip the pot, to add grip to the sides. It could also be used to dissipate heat, and it added a nice design. We also used things like corn cobs or the shells from nuts. Anything that we found in nature that had a nice texture that we liked, we could use to imprint on our pottery. After we had added texture to our pottery and let it dry, it would be placed into a very hot fire. We would let these pots sit on the outside of the fire, and usually a corn cob would be placed inside the pot. Once that corn cob started to smoke, we knew that that piece of pottery was hot enough that it could be scooted into the fire safely. If we were to move this pot into the fire too quickly, it could shock the clay and the clay could break apart. Once it was hot enough, we'd move it into the fire, cover it with more logs and sticks to build up the fire again, and make sure it was really good and hot. Then that fire would burn all day and all night. Once the fire is burned out completely, we could dig through the ashes and pull out our pottery that's nice and hard and usable. Modern Cherokees still make pottery today but it has gone from utilitarian use to more of an art form. Modern pottery artists use a kiln to fire their pottery instead of the fire method. This is a safer method to use and it has less risk of shocking the pottery and causing it to explode. Making pottery is a gift that our ancestors have given us and we are eager to share it with you today. The brown pot on the table is made using natural clay the white pot is made using the air dry clay that we will be using in our kit. In your pinch pot kit, you will have a paper plate, a toothpick, and a Ziploc bag with a piece of clay inside. Take the piece of clay out of the bag. <laughs> and you're going to Roll it in your hands and form it into a nice round ball. It doesn't have to be perfect. You just want to get it as close to a nice round shape as possible. Think of a baseball or a softball. Because this is air dry clay, the more we work with it, the more dry it's going to get. And it can start to crack. So once you've got your nice round shape formed, you're going to drop it on your plate. Now you're going to take your thumb. This is going to be your pottery tool today and you're gonna give it a thumbs down. You're gonna push your thumb straight down in the center of the clay, but don't go all the way through the bottom because you want a nice round bowl. You don't want a donut. Once you've got your thumb in there, you're gonna lift it up off the plate, hold it on your thumb, 
and you're going to form your hands into like a crab claw or a lobster claw. And you're just going to gently pinch all the way around. You're going to pinch and turn and pinch and turn. And this is going to start to form the walls of your bowl. Once the hole is big enough, you can use both thumbs and pinch with both hands. Once the walls are about the thickness of your little pinky finger, you're going to stop. And now we're going to add texture to your pot. So ancient Cherokees used a wooden paddle with a carved design to stamp into the pottery. But because you probably won't have anything like that at home, you can use other tools that Cherokees might have used, things from nature. Things like different kinds of nuts or seeds. Or even leaves that have a nice raised texture on them. Also in your kit is a toothpick and you can use that to draw designs onto the side of your pot. You can also use sticks to add different designs and textures into the outside of your pot. Anything you want to add is fine. This is your piece of art. Once you've got all of your designs added to your pinch pot, you're going to turn it upside down on your plate and you're going to use your toothpick to write your initials on the bottom of your bowl. Once you're all done, you're going to leave your bowl upside down on your plate and you're going to put it up on a shelf or on a counter and you're going to leave it to sit for two days, at least two days. This will allow your pinch pot to dry and harden to where it can be used. We're using air dry clay that is store bought. This clay takes about two days to fully dry and harden. It does not get baked in an oven or in a fire. And because this clay can't be baked, it also can't get wet. So you don't want to put anything wet in your bowl. You don't want to put any water or juice or milk, only dry things. So things like rock collections, toys, change, things like that. Wado for your time to learn about Cherokee culture and history. Share what you learned today with someone else. For more information, contact Cherokee Nation Education Services Cultural Resource Center at education at cherokee.org or 918-453-5000 and ask for education services.